Hey everyone, Miss Emily here, also known as a swan named Emily across the internet. Welcome to my quick tutorial on diary comics. Diary comics are a great mix of traditional diary keeping and fun sketching. Diary comics can be drawn in a sketchbook, on loose paper, or even in a lined journal. It's up to you. The idea is to combine the writing of journaling with the art of sketching. For this diary comic, we are going to start with a rough idea. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I got it. My diary comic for today is going to focus on the morning phone calls I have with my mom. First, I'm going to rough sketch out my idea to make sure I can fit the whole idea on one page. I'm not going to use any of the traditional borders that you see in newspaper comics or comic books, giving this a very open diary page feel. Because I only have one page to work with, I'm limiting the number of drawings I'm going to do. For me, this frees up a lot of the stress I might have about finishing my page, but also challenges me to be concise with my idea and my storytelling. Once I have my rough layout, I can go in and work on the specific posing and emotion of my character. Some of you might find it easier to work on the words first. That's great. Whatever works best for you. I especially enjoy these comics because I don't have to create an entire world or plot to tell the story. I can draw funny or meaningful moments that happened in my day with me as the star. There's no right or wrong way to tell your story, so let your imagination loose and see what appears. Once I have my idea all sketched out and the wording in place, I can finalize it. For me, this means going over my sketch with a different darker colored pencil, or possibly ink if I want. For you, this could mean putting down outlines with ink, or if you are happy with the sketch the way it is, stop there. Easy. Now for the final reveal. Congrats, you finished your first diary comic. Now it's up to you to capture other moments in your life, whether it be daily, weekly, or monthly. Big thank you to my mom for having more energy than I will ever hope to have. You are a constant inspiration. Thank you to everyone who listened and participated in my quick tutorial. I would love to see your art if you are comfortable sharing it. The easiest way is to follow me on any of the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, where I am found at a swan named Emily. If you like my tutorials, please head over to twitch.tv slash a swan named Emily, where I am creating live art and running tutorials throughout the week. If you follow me there, you'll be notified when I go live. There's also an active chat where you can participate and ask me questions or even have me cover specific topics. Finally, if you would like to support my art further, you can head over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash a swan named Emily and show your support there. Thank you, everyone. Happy drawing.